by parents who were stuck yesterday with their student uh, with their children and uh, many learners uh, were found were caught unawares here is why because uh, there was a directive at midnight, actually more like 1 a.m. on Sunday evening, uh, directing that learners should remain at home and schools will reopen next week on Monday. Mm -hmm. That was already uh, a different order from the previous one, which had directed that all schools were to open on time, with the exception of those that were in flood-prone areas. Mm -hmm. So like you've said, a lot of parents and uh, learners were caught very flat-footed and caught unaware, and they were forced to either turn back. Some were already you know, halfway into their journey. A lot of learners do travel long distance Distances. They do travel overnight. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of learners were also unable to go back home, having to call their parents, look for fare, etc. Mm -hmm. And quite, quite a big, uh, quite a lot of um, confusion actually overnight, mm -hmm. especially for the students, because again, safety matters. Are they already on the road? Are you coming back? Is it nighttime? Is it daytime? You know, mm. when you when this directive reaches you, do you believe it at first? Are you sure it's a it's a legit directive, or are you waiting for more sources? It's so much confusion. Because you're also looking at uh, something called costs. Uh, would you imagine if someone had taken maybe a loan of two thousand shillings mm -hmm. to make sure that their child travels from Nairobi to Western? Yeah, and that includes pocket money and a little bit of shopping. And then on the morning of travel or a night, the, uh, maybe they traveled a the night before, they get into a situation whereby it's, you know, now you have to go back home. Meaning this parent uh, and the small loan that they had borrowed has had, had not served the purpose. So they have to borrow once again. Mm -hmm. We're looking at situations in uh, areas like Baringo County, where a parent called Richard Chepchame uh, said that it was ill-advised. The directive by the CS was ill-advised. And the move uh, was actually not proper because some learners already reported to school on Sunday. Parents in remote areas have neither mobile phones nor radios to get the kind of information. The government should be serious. And on the other hand, the CS is defending himself, saying that we are saving lives. He says we are talking about life, which is paramount. Leave alone the incon uh, inconvenience of the postponement that people are talking about. If schools open in the current situation and something terrible happens, they'll again blame Mashogu. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I believe that you are to blame even in this situation because uh, uh, why is it that a whole nation would wait for reports on Saturday and Sunday so that they uh, give a directive? Sunday night, in the middle of the night. That's true. I think it was initially posted on Twitter at 1 a.m., right? Mm -hmm. And like you said, some parents have, you know, no mobile phones, access to the internet, mm -hmm. very, uh, you know, very limited in a lot of parts of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And even um, b by the time they get to a radio station and listen in the morning, it may be too late. Mm -hmm. I think several things can be true. While um, human life is paramount and it is important to protect learners, mm -hmm. the situation may not be conducive for them to learn in school. I don't think this was a developing story that was so last minute that it could not have been handled early i think the mm -hmm. weatherman had predicted the rains going into this weekend very heavily that's what we were told all of last week that mm -hmm. the rains will continue over the next two weeks and they'll be super heavy over the weekend so again it was not a surprise and i think um yeah parents deserved a little bit better and so do learners mm, so my fellow citizens what do you think about the directive by the cs i know it's proper yes but what do you think about the timing talk to us using the hashtag morning fix